Yes, sir. Rise and grind, man. I'm back at y'all with another video with the Pull Up King. This morning, I'm working on a 2009 Honda Accord. This is a V6. And we're going to do the valve cover gaskets on it. I'll show you how we're going to make that happen. It shouldn't be too bad. I've seen worse. Let's get it. All right, this is our part number. First, you want to take off the cover. These tabs here, unlock them. Once we got the cover off, as you can see, we got an intake manifold. That right there, got to come off so we can gain access to the valve cover and the bolts front and rear so we're going to start working on that all right you can see that's all of those bolts are 10 millimeter and they are 10 of them just want to pry up on it Next, we got these bolts here we got to take out. Those bolts are 12 millimeter, and we got nine of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we can start moving it. We're going to take these hoses off. Hoses, get all of this off here. That holds off that one. Uh, that connector also took the holes off from back here. That's still gonna stay on. Go ahead and get this holes off. 10 mil. Went ahead and took off that connector there. Now let's take off this throttle uh, body harness. All right, we off, man. Got it tucked off. We got it to the side. I don't pull it all the way off or nothing like that because these cooling lines, you would have to release those. Don't feel like messing with them. Uh, I don't want to lose any coolant, so we're going to go ahead and rock out valve cover gaskets. Got the rear. Now we can gain acid access. Go ahead and start on taking this harness away from it. As you can see, I got everything undone. I'm gonna show you what I did. These harness here, here, those two. We got 10 mils holding these coil packs in. Got all three of the harness. This right here. This is gonna be hooked there and hook here. Just pry these back, pull up. Got 10 mils holding this bracket in. Get that off. And now Okay, here we go. 10 mil right here. Let's bring this out a little bit further. And unhook this harness. Why don't you take out the coil packs? As you can see, we got 10 mil, two of them holding this bracket in. All right, with that gone, now we have access to the whole, to all of the bolts. That's holding down the Cover. All right, you can see how we expose now. Pry it up on that guy, and we got to get it out from under the harness. But what I'm gonna do is start on the rear. Let's get it on to the rear just because I don't want to 
risk dropping anything in the front of the engine, you know. Okay, get to the back, because I'm about to be reaching over it. Pretty much the same routine. You gotta get that harness off. Take out all these wire harness connectors. Uh, about 10 mils. All right, so we got these connectors. Took those out. It's pretty much the same way as the front with those connectors. One right here and another one. There it is, right there. So you take them out. Uh, take that blue one out. What else? We already got the coil packs out. All right. That. Took out this here for the power steering line. 10 mil. I'm going to go ahead and take this one off. That way we have a little slack when we pull up on that those covers through um might go ahead and remove the injectors from this side right here and that way you don't have to worry about yanking nothing go ahead and work on these bolts around it same as the front oh, before i forget that bracket so you got the 10 mil on it Bracket, take that off. And two bolts holding that in. Got this hose right here. Gonna do that. All right, we got all three in the front undone. Two in the back. Five in the rear, as well as the front. And now we should better come up on it. Gotta get it through this tight spot. Alright, we coming out. Look, I would suggest you to move, remove these. Alright, we got it coming out. Look, I would suggest you to remove these here because if you don't, they can pop out. I didn't realize how easy it was for them to come out. So, don't want nothing moving, dropping in the engine or anything crazy. So, beware of that. Now we can work on that front one. Don't worry about nothing falling in. We're going to start working on the gaskets. Put these tube seals in. Those are new ones. And these here we want to replace those as well swap those out and get it going now you want to turn it around and uh what i do is stick a flat head in there and tap it with a hammer around it and it'll just push out on the back side knock them out so three of them reinstall all right and that's how you put them in sit them in like that they don't go this way going this way all right. all right that's the old ones the new ones installed and just tap it in I, I use the back of the uh, flathead got it in same thing for the other side all right, we got all of those installed. Now we can work on installing these. This is how I'm getting it out because they're pretty hard to to do. You see how that goes? So it's pretty hard to work that off. It's pretty tight. And that's how I was able to pry it over that. And that's what I'm gonna do on all of them. to install it all you have to do is just really just push it on it'll go on easier than it came off about to go ahead and clean off the 
valve covers, brake cleaner. Alright, clean it up a little. All around the cover so nothing will be visible on the in that area. All of this is pretty much embedded in it. Want to make sure your surface is clean before you install the new gasket. You want to go ahead and add some gasket sealant. Add it right here in that corner there, and another cor that corner right there. You want to do that as well for that when you see where the old one was on both sides. Set it in place. Go ahead and tighten these bolts down and reverse order on the front. All right, let me point out when you install these, make sure that the that seal is over the tube right here. Make sure it's over, it's not pinching it and it don't rip it because that can happen. Just want to set it in and push it over it. Right, that front one is installed complete. I went ahead and cleaned up these areas where it was leaking at the most, you know, on the alternator, all on the exhaust manifold. Clean some of that up. And we're going to hit the rear. On to the rear. Got the rear installed. Go ahead and hook up everything and uh, install coil packs, everything else. All right, looking good. Time to install that intake manifold. And go ahead and tighten these bolts down now. Everything hooked up. Just like that, we are done. All right, man, if you're liking the content, you know what to do. Give the video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Hey, man, until next time, the Pull-Up King.